Hey, what up? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. Check out the buttons on this calculator that I just made, inspired by a pneumorphic design. Now, I've already made a couple pneumorphism tutorials, so check that out if you need, but I wanted to show you how to create buttons specifically like these, because if you look carefully, I added a gradient that makes the button have this sort of concavity feel to it. So let me show you how to add this nice touch by jumping into the code. As I mentioned before, I highly recommend for you to go watch my recent pneumorphism tutorials, but just to quickly sum up, in my scaffold, I've got a background color of deep purple, and in the center, I've got the button. And the key to pneumorphism is to make the background and the foreground the same color, while letting the shadows do the magic. So the button color is also deep purple with a strength of 300, and we want a slightly darker shadow on the bottom right, while having a slightly lighter shadow in the top left, which effectively creates this feel of having a light shining from the top left corner down onto the button. So this is the basics of the design so far. And now what I want to add is a gradient. So we're going to add a linear gradient and let's just define the beginning to be in the top left and the ending, we want it to finish on the bottom right. And now let's specify the color of the gradient. So this is going to be a list of, I'm just going to put in two colors. We're going to do a slightly light deep purple and an ever so slightly darker deep purple as well. So you can see with the numbers here, right? The darker shadow is a strength of 700 and the lighter shadow is a strength of 200. So in the gradient, I'm just going to go from 200 to 400 and see how that looks. Now, if you save this, then you can see it's kind of got this like concave out feel. It makes the button more round. And one more thing I want to specify here is the stops. And what this one does is you can control where the sort of begin and end are more precisely. So I think by default, it's just zero one. Yep. So that is just the default. Now I just want to bring this in just slightly. So 0 0.1 and 0 0.9, let's say, and let's save that. Yep. I like that gradient. Cool. So I like the original pneumorphism anyway, kind of like the flat version, but I also like this round concave version as well. And I just think it looks really good. So that's it for this one. Hopefully that was easier to understand. Play around with it and let me know if you have any questions. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters.